Good morning. Happy Monday. I am sad to say this is our last Meatless Monday. Don't you worry. We'll figure something out for the next month. Actually, I kind of have an idea. A lot of people, when I posted the, um, the story back in February, I asked, like, what kind of meatballs? So I'm thinking Meatball Monday might be nice because Mondays is usually my office day and I'm home working. So um, I dropped off the kids at school and every Monday it's actually worked out really well that I've been able to get in the kitchen and um, do some stuff. So this is our last Meatless Monday and you think I'd go out without doing Asian? We're gonna do a Korean barbecue chickpea bento bowl. Mm -hmm. With pickled veggies. I just want to explain what I'm going to do here real quick because I had a misconception of bento bowl. I thought bento box and when I was looking up stuff like bento box is everything compartment, compart in compartments. Um, no, I'm doing a rice bowl. I'm going to do a barbecue Korean chickpea. I'm going to do a very thin shaved Brussels sprouts roasted, like sauteed in there. Um, and then I'm going to pickle cucumber with red onion and I am going to pickle some peppers. So, and I have some jalapeno for spice. So I'm gonna do a play on a rice bowl all broken down and then you can kind of like mix it together. Um, obviously all vegetarian and we'll make our own Korean barbecue sauce. Let's get cooking. So for our bento box, uh, we're gonna do some veggies on top and I think doing something savory like the Korean barbecue Korean, you want some acid to make it pop on top. So in, I'm gonna do two different core containers. These are pickling, well, it's a half fast pickling. Um, it's vinegar and sugar, and I'm gonna do one with cucumbers, which I just sliced the cucumbers kind of on a bias. And I'm gonna add cucumber and red onion to this one. And we're gonna, the reason I'm doing the core containers is because I can shake it up. And in this one, I did these colorful sweet peppers which now I'm gonna start making my chickpeas and what I can do is let these sit. It's not like gonna pickle for like days, it's just to get the acid on it and soften them a little bit. So I'm just giving them a toss, I'm gonna to put them on the side. I'm also gonna um, chop up some scallions, some fresh cilantro and jalapenos, because this is much more of a garnish dish than it is um, making different sauces. It's gonna be one component rice and different toppings. Let's get the chickpeas cooking. Brussels sprouts. You know, as a kid, you don't want to eat your Brussels sprouts. I don't know, as an adult, we love them. Um, so I've done a bunch of different things with them. My favorite, obviously, is cooking them with bacon, a little bit of maple glaze and sea salt. Um, what we're gonna do is you can shred them a um, bunch of different ways. You just wanna snip off the stem part. I like to cut them in half first, and then I go really thin like this. Um, I've done it with like a Brussels sprout salad, but this is gonna go with the chickpeas and I don't want it to be overpowering. So just running my knife through it, I'm gonna put that in the bowl. It's gonna give a little vegetable to the dish and a little bite. Um, Brussels sprouts also have a bitterness to it. So nice and thin, just running my knife through it. Um, chickpeas have been rinsed, I'm using the canned ones. I chopped up some garlic and I'm getting all the ingredients together, brown sugar, um, hoisin, a little soy, a little mirin, uh, a little sesame oil, and a little ponzu, and that's how we're gonna make our Korean barbecue sauce. Um, but I'm gonna make it in the pan with all the ingredients. So sesame oil is really potent. So I do a couple drops, um, cause it's a smaller batch, it's all in the prep, as you know. Got the chickpeas, I got our garlic, our cilantro, our Brussels sprouts, our hoisin, our soy, our white vinegar. With, um, and now the pan's getting hot, and I put a couple drops of this with a couple drops of regular oil to saute the garlic. So let's get that on. All right, I got a little bit of color on my garlic, which that's kind of what I wanted to do. I don't want it to brown too much because I don't want it to burn. We're gonna add in our chickpeas. And we're gonna add in our Brussels sprouts. Give it a toss. And then we'll start building our sauce in the pan. So I'll give it a quick saute. So it's cooked down a little bit. Um, like I said, this is a quick dish because we don't want anything to get mushy. Um, gonna add all my sauces now and I'm gonna actually squeeze 
some fresh lime juice in there. And we'll give it a toss. Let me get the other sauce. I need to put this down for a sec. So I now have the hoisin making our sauce in the pan. A little soy, rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna taste it. If it's very acidic, first of all, no salt. I just put pepper. I'm gonna put a little honey to sweeten it. And we're actually gonna add the cilantro. Like I said, the lime juice was in there. It's the only reason um, I like using fresh citrus, but if it's a little too tart with the soy, I'll add a little bit of honey and pretty much take this off the heat. It's ready to go. Just wanna kinda show you guys what I'm working with. Here are our chickpeas. Um, I ended up using a tablespoon of honey just to sweeten it up a little bit. We got our pickled veggies that have been sitting. Um, I did some fresh scallions, some jalapeno, and some cilantro. And we're gonna build our bento bowl. So I have a bowl, I just have some jasmine rice right there, and we're gonna put this together. Here's our bento bowl. So the rice is in the corner, which we put some scallions and did a little mirroring on it. Here's our pickled veggies on top, some fresh cilantro, jalapeno, and then the base of it is the barbecue Korean um, chickpeas and Brussels sprouts. So pretty much, you kind of want to just mix it all together. I'm going to take the jalapenos off because I'm spicy, but this is pretty cool and easy. I mean, it's a very special bowl I'm eating out of. We wanted to get a good picture, but you could see everything. And pretty much my concept is the chickpeas came out really savory. The Korean barbecue sauce, like really nice. And when you mix it with the pickled veggies, Boom, like this pop of flavor, especially the red onion. So the whole concept here is that it's a lot of different flavors mixed together that complement each other. And texture wise, crazy right now. So crunchy, so fresh, like I love this.